It looks like the uncle that just got out of prison and spoils his nephew and turns him into the hardened criminal he's become today. Bro, my viewers know me so well. Yeah, maybe he should be his uncle. Maybe he's the uncle that uh, corrupted him by introducing him to fucking chaos. Because <laughs> Mel at this point is 35. He's a grown ass man in this timeline. Yeah, maybe, maybe he's the fucked up, scary criminal uncle. Maybe he isn't his dad. Maybe he's his uncle. Capco. Let's go see what's up with the Capco. I I like that that they use the actual cab depot. Mamma mia. Fucking computers are never gonna catch on. Meditation, electrical, arena, mechanic, fuckloads of mechanics, motel, nightclub, pawn shop, pharmacy, police station, post office. That sounds interesting. Also, I should probably rent a car. Okay, so I'm gonna go to Mirror Park Boulevard and make a ride on Mirror Park Boulevard. Ooh. Oh, the beam machine. We zoom in. Classic. Looking for love. Country club. I'm just exploring. I'll figure shit out on my own unless I ask. I'm trying to get immersed. Most of. My BO number is BA775. Get the fuck out of here. Put a little purple ink on my thumb and mark down City Hall. Careful. Around here. Huh? I'm just fucking with you. I hit the oh, wrong okay. button. <laughs> How you doing? Hey, you know. Same old, same old. How you doing? I'm doing well. Man, I'm in here for a job interview, but there's nobody inside, so I don't know what to do. Oh, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm the one interviewing you. Oh. Well, let's do it then. Yeah, come on in. You know about the interview fee? Interview fee? Yeah, they tell you on the phone. Who'd you speak to? Uh, talk to Vinny. Okay. Well, I'm Al. Hey, Al. Uh, Vinny, uh, Vinny put me in charge for the night. Sounds like Vinny. Yeah. He, he, Vinny doesn't do a whole lot of night shift. Fine. What'd you say your name was? Thank you. Uh, my name's Dan. All right, Dan. Come on in. All right. My, uh, my heart's beating. I really want this job, you know? Uh, don't worry about it. Look at how I'm dressed, huh? I'm sweating. That's right, yeah. All right. Wow, well, big, big room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taking a long way around, Dan. Come up here to get a feel for it. Feel good? Yeah, suits you, Dan. Suits you. Suits you, Dan. I'm excited, Al. <sighs> Fucking Vinny locked me out. Wait, we can just do it in here, man. It's fine. Okay. All right. Have a seat. You smoke, Dan? Uh, I do if you do. <laughs> you want a cigarette? I'd love a cigarette, sir. Nah, you got a light. All right, Dan. Ah. 
Vinny didn't really update me on a whole lot of what's going on here, so how about you fill me in? What position you uh you looking to fill today? You know, I I'd really like just to get my feet wet and everything. I want to be a paralegal. Okay. All right. You got any former experience? Uh, honestly, my experience is in entertainment. Okay. Not in law. Okay. You want to use on was you on Judge Judy? No, you know, uh, like the Vinewood Zombie movie that came yeah. out a couple years ago. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's my hand on the poster. Really? Yeah. You're yeah. No big, shit. A big star. Oh, sorry. Huh? No, no stuff. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, uh, I don't give a shit. No. Oh, okay. No shit. Okay. It's serious business. You know, we don't have time to worry about shit like that. Yeah. It's words. Just words. Yeah, listen, man. <laughs> Uh, what do you, what do you, what do you, uh, what do you, what do you bring to the table here that we can't get from uh, some young buck on the street, huh? Some, some twenty-something who's got a bunch of experience, who knows what he's doing. And what do you, what do you bring to the table? Well, besides my handsome, good looks and my charm, I'd say it's my can-do attitude and the fact that I really want to help people, uh, protect them from the system is really what I want to do. Mm. Protect people from the system. So, criminal defense? Criminal defense, that's criminal what I defense. want. All right. All right, that's what we like to hear. We need, we need a lot more of that around here. We got all these Boy Scouts. Uh, Prosecutors. Yeah. Can't believe it. Yeah. Look, I respect it. Listen, um... What do you... You gotta... I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a hypothetical. You got a guy. Okay. You got a guy. He's a, guy. He's, a, he's coming in for... Reckless evading. He ran from the Reckless cops. Okay. Yeah, he ran from the cops and he punched a punch one in the face and said, "You'll never in catch me." Okay. And then he hopped over a fence and ran clean into a bush. And a branch caught him on the face, knocked him out cold. He woke up in the hospital. They took him to prison. They took him to jail. What do they? What do you? What do you? What do you uh, they call you down. How are you gonna help this guy? Well, I see that as a clear case of self-defense when he socked the police officer yeah all right you know yeah i think i think do. uh i think we could, could uh, get him off in self-defense i don't know if that police officer identified himself properly i'm not quite sure if that uh police officer uh was was uh what's the word was uh comfortable with them was uh you know what am i thinking here was was polite to him was what's the word Gorgeous. treated him well yeah well, listen, I, rough with him. I like your attitude, I like the gusto, but realistically, if you're going to be a paralegal, the answer would be you're going to be doing the paperwork. Uh, oh, yeah, the paperwork. Yeah, yeah, the paperwork. You, you know, you, you apply for the job you want, not the job that you're you're there for, right? I don't expect that. You come in clean cut, you got a nice tie, uh, you're looking, you look, you look like you fit in me, I... <laughs> I got so much tenure at this place, I could come in with my pants off, and I'm sure I'm sure I'd uh, I'd be fine. But uh, you got you, I, I respect the way you're doing things. Hey, look, 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 Dave. Uh, Vinny, uh, Vinny neglected to tell you about the interview fee. Uh, typically, if we think there's a chance you're gonna pass, uh, it's 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 gonna be considerably less than if we're just kind of get you getting you in and getting you out the door. Uh, I think okay. you got a good attitude. I think you're clean cut. Uh, I like the cut of your jib. I like the respect you approached me with. Uh, we can knock down the interview fee to 75 bucks. Uh, and then from there, I'll move the paperwork up the ladder. Uh, and, uh, I'll, I'll let Vinny know that, uh, okay. that you, uh, Okay, I think that's, that's doable. Yeah. I, uh, I just have one problem is I didn't bring a lot of money with me. I, I don't have $75 on my person at this time. Oh, yeah. I'm sure there's an ATM around here somewhere. Actually, you know what? Right in the front lobby. Let's go. Let's go yeah. get that. Uh, yeah, I, I'm right. really excited about this. I'm happy you could go ahead and push those through. That's that's fantastic. Yeah, sir. You're, the answer about the, the, the bush runner, I, I like that. I like the self-defense situation. A lot of people give these officers too much credit, you know. Of, oh, they're just doing their job. No, sometimes they're just they're just punching a guy in the face and maybe he was just they're punching just back. Dibbles. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes guys are just punching back. Come on, let's go. Let's get that interview fee squared okay. away. It's just bureaucracy bullshit. You know how it is. I, I get it. Yeah. And, uh, I, you know, I'm so thankful that, that you were my interviewer, sir. Hey, you could have got one of those, uh, one of those real stuffy types with a, 
But the yeah, ash god and the, the tie, uh, no disrespect to your tie, young man, but, uh, you know. Yeah, you're lucky. You're lucky. Because that answer, you could you could you could have got someone who aired more on the end of prosecution. You could have... You know, yeah. you got the, you got, a, you got a guy with the right attitude, and I think you got the right attitude yourself. And you know, uh, thank you. I think you're gonna be just fine. How's it going, gentlemen? Hey, how hey, you doing, yeah, officer? Doing well. I just had a job interview. Yeah. Oh, heck yeah. yeah. Anyway, the interview, the interview fee is gonna be seventy-five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, boss man. Hey, listen, listen, uh, Don, sure. Donnie, I'll. Uh, I'll speak to Vinny. It's, it's Dan. Dan. Dan, that's what it was. Dan, what was your last name, Dan? Stein. All right. Dan Stein. Uh, full name Daniel or is Dan work? Uh, full name is Daniel. I, I go by Dan. I don't know. I didn't realize you needed that for the paperwork. I'm sorry. All right. Hey, don't worry about it. I'll, uh, look, I'm going to I'm gonna head home. I got a stack of papers on my desk back in my apartment. I'll, uh, I'll fill everything out. Uh, I'll fill out all your intake paperwork, and then I'll get everything passed up the ladder to Vinny, and you should hear from him in the next few days. Okay. Yeah, uh, I don't right. like it. Hey, pleasure to meet you, Dan. I think you're gonna. Yeah. I think you're gonna do real good here. Yeah. Al, I'm really excited to work with you, Al. I all can't right, believe this is this is happening for me. I appreciate you so much. Yeah, you got it. You got it, boss. Hey, keep it up. All right. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> what a fucking star. How you doing, officers. Doing well. Doing well. <laughs> oh, I like that. That was <laughs> I like that a lot. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. I have no idea who that was. That was fucking awesome. That was roleplay. Holy shit. <laughs> All right, uh, conversation with you real quick. Uh, yeah, what can I do for you? All right, you step out the car here, come talk to us. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Smoke. What's going on? Do I smoke? Yeah, of course, of course I smoke. You want to smoke? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. What uh, can I do for you, officers? Hey, Officer good. Hopper, this is Officer Bill here. Hey, how's it going on, Bill? Doing just fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you got your own. Yeah, I got my own. What's your, what's your name there, pal? Uh, Al. All right, Al. <sighs> so, uh, what brought you down here to the courthouse today? What were you up to? Oh, I just wanted to come look at the architecture. It's a big, beautiful building. I wanted to see what was up with it. I like it. Well, here, you can have this. Nice for you. Yeah, it's a big, beautiful building. Wanted to watch the, uh, wanted to come take a look at the architecture. Look at that. It's a fucking marvel. Look at the size of that place, huh? You know what I mean? What do you do for work? Hey, you know, I'm in between jobs right now, but I made my way down to the cab depot to see if they were hiring, but there wasn't anybody there. But, uh, so I just came here, and, you know, when I'm feeling down in the dumps, like, I, you know, I can't get a job, I like to just admire the architecture. <laughs> mm. Helps me feel centered, like, if someone could, someone could build this, then I can, I can build something for myself, you know? It's something, uh, something you've been wanting to do, maybe you did, maybe you should take up, uh, you know, working towards being an architect. You know, it's never too late. No, I mean figuratively. Like if someone oh, can build, figuratively build something. This, oh, okay. something this beautiful, then I can I can build something for myself. You know. Right. You're never you're never too uh, you're never too old to, to start. You know. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of the yeah. old day, how, how old are you there? Uh, Sixty-five. Yeah, that ain't old. Mm. Nah. Right. Hey, as long as I keep smoking these cigarettes, I'll make it. Make it all. You say you're a. Uh, you say your last name was? I didn't. What's your last name? Rickenbacker. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Rickenbacker, do you know yeah. uh, that man up there at the steps? What's your relationship with that man that you were uh, well, man. talking with up there? The man that you were discussing with up there in the steps. Oh, I was just saying hi. Two guys happen to be in the same place. We're the only ones in there. I figured we might as well chat. Mm. He, said, uh, he said something about it. Pushing it up the ladder. 
Yeah, yeah. I think he's trying to get a job there. Oh. You trying to give him a hand? Not, nothing I can fucking do about it. Did he give you a hand? Nah. Of money? Yeah, yeah. He gave me some cash. Why'd he give you some money, Mr. Uh, Rickenbacker? I told him I'm trying to get a start in between jobs right now. He's a well-dressed man. Looked good, looked clean cut. Yeah, I got some extra cash for it. <laughs> Took good care of me. I think he's got a future. He wants to be a lawyer, told me. Mm. Mm. Alright. <laughs> so, uh, he just offered you that out of the kindness of his heart? Yeah, I think so. He said something about big things coming. Working on get himself a solid, solid line of employment. Might as well share the wealth, I think he said. Reaganomics and all that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh... Let's be honest with us here, there, Al. Uh, yeah. What you you gonna put that money back? You gonna do work uh, work on you know saving up some uh, some funds, or is that gonna go toward a, toward something? Well, with all due respect, officer, I don't see how that's any of your business. I was just uh, making conversation. Oh, all right. oh, I'm sorry. I, that's fair. I don't know. <laughs> mm. I don't trust the banks a whole lot. I might just put it under a mattress or something. <laughs> right. Mr. Reckenbacher, uh, yeah. do you know what fraud is? Uh, no, not really. Well, fraud is uh, wrongfully deceiving somebody and uh -huh. for uh, financial gain. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why are you telling me this? Uh, because when we walked in, it sounded like... Uh... <laughs> sounded like you were telling that man up there that you were going to uh, help him out with his uh, position. I think when we walked in, he said, Hey, guys. I'm doing a job interview. <laughs> yeah, really I think he was well. waiting for... He said he was waiting for Vinny to come give him a job interview. And then he said... Something about, you know, $75? Yeah, he gave me $75. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Is that... Uh, he was saying that he was interviewing uh, with uh, you there, Al. Mm, nah, he must be confused. Mm. You, don't, you don't think so? Nah, I must be confused. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like we got a classic. He said, he said. Yeah, it sure sounds like it. My, it was really saying? popular here in the year 1985. Mm. You think we'd make it this far? I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought, uh, I thought we were going to hit that second ice age in the early 80s. Nah, I just saw that Back to the Future, and I'm pretty sure by the 2000s we'll have flying cars and, you know, hoverboards and shit like that. Yeah. You're scaring the hell out of me talking like that there. Sounds more unlikely than uh, computers. I saw a computer in the fucking cab depot. I, I see those things, like, at least once a week at this point. I think they're gonna die out. Yeah, all these kids and their technology, you know. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. I'm gonna be real. What it sounded like? It sounds like you scammed the man out of some money. Now, was right. he being an idiot? Absolutely. Okay. Was that? Were you being an idiot and uh, wrongful about it? Absolutely too. We're uh, we're gonna consider this a learning moment, mm -hmm. Mr. Brickenbacher. I'm gonna take note of this, and uh, who knows? You might just be building yourself up to a case of fraud out here. Hey. I could be wrong. That guy could be lying. You could be telling the truth. Uh -huh. I don't know. Which is why we're going to leave it off as a warning mm -hmm. right now. But, uh... What's the, what's the warning? Yeah, it is. Don't do it is again. a warning. Don't do it again? Or... Don't do it again. We're watching. You're watching. Mr. Rickenbacker. Yeah, all right. Okay. Well, if you're watching... Uh... Keep watching. <laughs> is this your vehicle? It's, it's, uh, it's the intent. Hmm? Yeah, it's... Is your, uh, is your vehicle? One? What you watch to get out of that car yeah. there? It's, it's yours. Oh, I thought it was mine. That's why I got out. Oh, right. I sat down. Oh, okay. Like, this oh. is mine. I should get out. Well, which way are you walking then? Yeah, it makes sense. Huh? Which way? Which way are you walking? I'm going that way. Where are you heading? I guess you better start walking then, huh? Is that in order? <laughs> nope. I'm good here. <laughs> yeah. I'm good right here too. 
Hey, I'm here. Bill. Nice and warm under the light. Yeah. It's a beautiful day. Sun's coming up. Mm hmm. What's that guy doing trying to get a job interview in the middle of the night? I don't know. That's a good like point. A, you know, it's pretty yeah. stupid. <laughs> it does seem Isn't that stupid. the guy that sped away from us from that traffic stop? Wait, that guy back there? No, it's just a different guy in a moped, I guess. Oh, you know. Could be. Oh yeah, no, that was a that was a grenade. That was a grenade did that. Going to a jousting event with his friend Dick. Dick you seen grenade, a guy around huh? here? Uh, actually, Al, you seen a guy around here named Dick? L white suit. Not named Dick, no. Oh, all right. Hey Dan, hey, good luck with the uh, the job interview, man. Yeah. Uh, Thanks, man. Uh, good luck. Huh? <laughs> okay, well now, okay. Okay. All right. Could have sworn yeah. we just had a job interview. Nah, yeah, uh, you must be confused. <laughs> I don't... I don't think so. How much did this, uh, how much did you pay this man for the job interview? He said it was $75 uh, interview fee. Nah, so I paid him $75. That. Nah, I said yeah, I was going great. through some hard times. You're a man with a nice suit. You probably got some money. Can I get a cup of coffee or something? You said, uh, you said uh, you're, you're a... Uh, Take a crisp here, 50. A crisp 20. Yeah, you know what? You know what? crisp 5. We're going to turn this into an exercise. Sir. Exercise. Uh, you, you know what, Bill? What's up? I want you to pretend. Do I, do I look like I'm in any position? To be I want you to pretend to be the guy in the suit. I'm gonna be the hippie in the sandals. Okay. What? All right. The what? Okay. <laughs> okay. Huh? It's me, the guy in the suit. Hey. Hey. You want me to? Uh, you want to? Want to get interviewed for a job that I'm providing oh. you absolutely no evidence or proof that I actually work for it, and just my word and my word alone? <laughs> I might be interested in something like that. Okay, and see. All right. Now, what, yeah, what's about what's, how it what's what's wrong with this picture? Well, I mean, I'm I'm just I'm just very eager, sir, and that's why I believed it because I really want this position. All right, let's show him how that's supposed to happen, there, Bill. <laughs> okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Hey, you. Mm -hmm. Hey, kid. what's up? Hey, how are you? You're not I, wearing I, shoes. I know. I like the way okay. it, it feels along my feet. I'm also hmm. part of the DOJ here, oh, yeah, even right. though I'm not in any uh, uniform. Oh, <laughs> okay. Mm. Yeah, what, what, what can I? Uh, what, can, what can I do for you? You can pay me seventy-five dollars for this <laughs> interview, and I'll put in a good word for you. Trust <laughs> me, I'm the DOJ. You can stick that up your ass. I'm not giving you no. That's all right. right. You can uh, leave, sir. Right. Thank you. Okay. It was worth a shot. Okay, and scene. I'm smart. Huh. That That's is, smart. That is... Bye. Bye. I walked into hmm. a place of business and they were charging you yeah. for an interview. Yeah, I'd leave. Yeah. I mean, yeah how many how many, play, how many businesses do you know that charge you for for interviews, sir? <laughs> I didn't think it was for the. I mean, I just wanted the job, man. <laughs> it's called bribery, <laughs> sir. Bribery. Okay. Many businesses well. are like, hey, you want a job here? Give me seventy-five bucks. What are you doing? I thought it was for like you, you like utensils and and. Supplies and shit. Stuff. Jesus. Sorry, I'll just doing random into a learning experience. Okay. Well, get it. okay yeah. Be better about your money. Stop scamming people. Huh? Can I, can I have like, <laughs> my money back? Got my eye on you, Mr. Rickenbacker. Well, that's I ain't scamming nobody. To, I mean, we're turning this into a learning experience. Yeah, there's a, yeah what's done is done. Yeah. I'm okay. saying that I, I lost $75 to an idiot tax? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> You know, I mean, you know how much money seventy-five dollars is? That's a lot of money. Yeah, sir, you roll around you with that the, money sir, in his hand. You with the pigs. You're gonna smell like shit. All right, you, you right you now, you think like hand. shit. You <laughs> lost <laughs> that money. Mm. Can, can't you get up for interpret? Uh, interpret? Interpret? What's the word? It, it, what's the word? If you can't say it, sir, what expect? What? Why do you think we should? Is it? You know, he's uh, stammering the one on his words. Be DOJ. <laughs> in, in, impersonation. There we go. Impersonation of a yeah. government official. And fraud. And fraud and bribery. Mm. And bribery. 
We could do all those things, or you could, could. We could just we could just you know send you back to middle school for being a gullible. <laughs> there was also are some things we could do. I don't I don't want any charges pressed. I just want my money back. I just want my money back, man. I'm saving up for a car. Sir, a car, man. You want, would you give him the kid? You give would you give him his money back? No. All right. Okay. Well, I mean that, that settles that, I guess. Just you tried. You tried, I, man. I tried. You, you tried your damn hardest. And that's all we can do. Can't do anything more than that, I guess. Uh, okay, I will just sit here and wait for my actual interview. Thanks. I don't Thanks think anybody's. Now. Is anybody actually coming? I. I don't know, man. Who t who told you someone was coming? <laughs> Nobody told me anybody was coming. I'm just assuming. You know what assuming gets you there? Yeah. Yep. What? Takes an ass. Oh. And you yeah. and me. Mm -hmm. You gonna make me an ass? I don't want to make you an ass. No, you don't. I don't want to make anybody don't you an don't, ass. Don't you make I'm me an ass. ass. Yeah, you right. are. You That's are. Right. Listen, man, I th I'm sure you're a good guy, and I, I'm thankful this is going to go a long way. I'm going to remember this. I'm going to remember this for a long time. I hope you do. Okay. Poor guy. Ah. Mr. Rickenbacker, we have every right to arrest you right now, but we're turning this into a life experience for that uh, guy that's never going to forget. And if he does become DOJ, he's going to be a damn good DOJ because he's already been screwed over. And now he knows, uh, you know, not to pay the idiot tax. Hell hath no fury like a lawyer scorned. I'm sure you guys are running into him someday. He said something about wanting to be criminal defense. Well, All right, I, Mr. Rickenbacker. Yeah. Pleasure meeting you. Um, Sheriff, Bill. deputies. Officer, officer. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Law enforcement. Yeah. Hey, hey, Donahue. What's his name? I don't remember. I don't know. Hey, Dave. Hey, Dave. What was he? Del. Dill. Dill. Oh. What's oh. your name? It's Dan. You still want to be oh, a criminal shit. defense attorney? Not at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. All right. Hey, you did that. Run the fucking club. You did that. Uh, nah, I didn't do shit. Look at him. Where's your fucking moped? There is nothing that breaks my heart more watching a defeated man drive away on a scooter. Look at that. What about, uh, what about Poppy <laughs> dead dog the today? the thing I've ever seen. Embarrassing. Look, I don't know what he's on about. I don't know about blah, blah, fraud. Sounds made up, but... I, I know you guys think you got it all figured out, and I, I respect that, but I, I don't fucking know what he's talking about. That's why we turned into a learning experience, sir. Good. Classic case of he said, he said. Yeah, You're both wrong. You're, you, sure, you know what? Sure. I like that. I like that, Bill. Yeah. No, I don't feel like both feel wrong. Very, I don't feel very wrong. Of course you don't. You got $75 in your packet. Yeah. You listen to the learning experience. <laughs> Hope that some bitch did. Have a good day, Mr. Uh, Rickenbacker. You too, young boy. I'm gonna see if they're gonna circle around and wait for me to take the car. <laughs> I don't see him anywhere. Oh shit, there they are. <laughs> did, you, did you drop something you in front of the car? Yeah, you, you, huh? Some, some slip you, drop, you drop something in front of the car? No, I'm just meditating, man. Oh, okay. Beautiful morning. All right. I'm gonna go get a coffee right. soon. Rickenbacker. <laughs> uh, shit. Where's <laughs> 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 uh. <clears throat> Rickenbacker? your vehicle yeah <laughs> oh it is yeah oh uh-huh <laughs> got proof of insurance yep get that on you yeah yeah good man 
You know, slide that over there. Uh, my partner. Sure. Yeah, yeah, just go ahead and find that. And when you do find that, I'm, I'm going to need you to step it. out of the vehicle and uh, go ahead and show that to us. Yeah, over I'm here. trying to find it. Let me keep looking. Okay. Okay. You keep looking. I'm still looking. Yeah. That's weird, though, because when I... <sighs> When I asked you over there by the bus stop, you said it wasn't your car. I don't remember that. Mr. Rickenbacker, I'm going to ask you to get out of here. Okay. Child locks are on. Please do, oh. do flip them off there. It's by the right by the door, right right there on your uh, right there by your left arm. I think your seatbelt's on. You just got to unbuckle your seatbelt and get out. Child locks or not. Uh, unlock them. Well. Mr. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm Mr. gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you what I always tell my nephew. What's that? When you can't fight, run. Okay. <laughs> oh shit, oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Hey, yeah, fuck out of here. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh shit, fuck, fuck. Shit, 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 shit. Out of the way, yuppie prick! Shit, shit, shit. Not good, not good, not good. Oh shit. Put on my seatbelt. Oh, oh, oh! Huh? Huh? Oh shit! 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 Ah! Fuck! 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 Shit! 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 Like today. Oh fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck. Come on, come on, come on. Come on out. Give him help. You can do this. Oh, shit. Give him hell, hell, come on. To mayor there. Back off. Airway is hold. Shit. Ah, shit! Ah. 
Come on, pick it up. Come on, go, fucking go, you hunk of shit. Come on, come on. You out of gas, Mr. Rick and Morty? Shit, 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 shit. Go for a box up here. Shit, shit. All right, sir, come on. You got on foot. Out on foot on the Alta Street nearest cross of San Andreas Avenue. Get back here, Mr. Rick and Morty. Yo, you're teaching that nephew, you're doing some bullshit. Hey, stop running. Hey, shit. Right? Stop running. Stop. What is stop. this? Stop. Right now. You're all right? I'm fucking cramping. You're all right, sir? Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Cramp it. Hold on. He's, he's fucking legs cramping. Hey. I'm fucking legs cramping. All right, all right. Just, you want to put those hands up there? Just, come on. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm too old for this shit. I am too old for this shit. I am too fucking old for this shit. Fuck you, eat shit. Yeah, I wouldn't if I were you. I don't know if my legs still work. Yeah. I, 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 I do not know if my legs still work. Yeah, we're gonna get him in uh, custody here. Good God damn it. All you gotta do is walk away from the car, Mr. Rickenbacker. Uh, Jeez. Mr. Rickenbacker. What? You can sit down, but I'm gonna be placing you in cuffs at this right. moment in time, okay? Alright. <laughs> gonna get you <laughs> medical for your leg. You psychopaths. <sighs> Did you jump off that building? Yeah, it looked like I fucking jumped. I fell. Jeez. You fucking oh, jumped, you, what, I fucking fell, oh cut. <laughs> New oh Zealand? <laughs> you, think you're, uh, you think your leg's broken, Mr. Rickenbacker? No, I don't. But it certainly fucking hurts. Wait, you did you just say we're we'll fucking from New Zealand, mate? Huh? That's what I heard. I didn't say anything. New Zealand, mate? I didn't say anything. I heard New Zealand. I don't recall. <laughs> mm. All right. Listen, Mr. Rickenbacker, while mm. you're sitting there having a smoke and enjoying mm. your time, I want to advise you of your rights, I'm okay? I'm not enjoying any of this. <laughs> you do have the right to remain silent. Anything yeah. you do or say can and will be used against you in the court of law. Long, right? You have the it's right to an attorney, attorney present if available. Mm. Hey? Mm. hey, maybe you can get that guy Dan. Maybe you can get that guy Dan. <laughs> yeah, maybe he can help you out. Can a foreign attorney won't present to you free of charge by the state, okay? Do you understand these rights if I read them to you? Some dog, some dog, me Dan. He's not gonna want to represent me. I don't know. I heard well, he had a job interview today. Yeah. Yeah. I don't oh think yeah, that guy that well. you scammed out of money at the at the courthouse. I don't know Maybe he could represent that. you. I heard he's I'll got go a pretty steep fee though. Yeah, seventy-five dollars. Seventy-five dollars. That's not much. I can afford that. Oh, you can. I know you can afford that because you took it from him. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, Mr. Rickenbacker, can you hear me okay? Alright. So right now, you're, uh, you're looking at... An asshole. Uh, oh, well, good for you. Uh, <laughs> right now, you're looking at uh, one count joyriding, one count reckless driving, and uh, one count resisting arrest. Mm -hmm. It's uh, 15 months up in, uh, up in the slammer. That's a fine of three hundred and fifty dollars. Now you're gonna have three days in order to pay off this fine, and how you pay it off is you show up at Davis PD, and uh, you can pay that up at the front desk with the uh, the dispatchers. If you don't pay this out, you know, bad things will happen. Sounds like I'm gonna have to get some job interviews. Sounds like you're gonna have to start doing some job interviews. <laughs> well, I did do that. Um. 
I'll take that as guilty. Yeah. Mm. All right, Mr. Rickenbacker. Is there anything that you'd like to say before uh, we have you transported to the uh, the big house? Mm -hmm. Hey, look at that. That's been unlocked this whole time. That's so funny. You could have just walked out any time. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. funny. Are you still cuffed? Are you yeah. still cuffed? Yeah. You don't look cuffed to me, so that's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. Let me yeah, get these off weird, of you. That is weird. Oh, weird. <laughs> anything you'd like to say before I send you up? Better line up some job interviews. Don't worry. I'm not worried. <laughs> I hear the prison's hiring some new cleaners. 